During Yamasakura 7-1, soldiers are offered the opportunity to learn about Japanese culture through historical tours, such as Kumamoto Castle. However, some events have made more recent historic impacts to the area. Kumamoto City suffered two earthquakes in April earlier this year. We're here at a local storefront where JGSDF members and U.S. Army personnel are taking time away from Yamasakura and lending a helping hand. I think that it solidifies our work because we're able to build a personal relationship. I've actually been to Japan several times. I've spent most of my life here. And every time the Japanese are always very gracious hosts. So this helps us give back and helps them feel better about working with us since they give so much to us. Although there wasn't much structural damage, the store did suffer electrical and plumbing issues, which caused Shiro Katsura to close his business. The situation has been like this since the earthquake. I couldn't clear things out until now, and most of it is clear, but there's still some work to get done. The goal is getting a little closer. Shiro said he tried to hire companies to clear out the store, but most companies were backed up due to the severity of the earthquakes. I was debating to do it myself, but then the JGSDF offered to help with the U.S. Army, and I said yes. I thought it would take a whole day to clean, but it only took half of that. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Reporting from Camp Kangoon, I'm Petty Officer Anthony Martinez.